<laughs> All right. So you're going to want to close your eyes to start with. Okay. Um, take deep breaths with me. We're going to start with this. And when you take breaths, imagine fresh new energy coming in your body from every part of your body, like your sun, yourself. Okay. And when you exhale, you can use your voice if you want or not. You exhale all the stagnant, unnecessary energy. So, then. And you want to hold a little bit. And when you're holding, imagine the energy going in your head. And you can breathe normally. With your eyes closed all the time. And you with your breath, every time you breathe in and out, imagine this energy going in your head and out your feet, out your hands. And when you're feeling ready, let this energy flow out of your head and make it flow around you like a water fountain, just with your imagination, just imagine it. With your breath, shooting out of you, running all around you like a waterfall. And when you breathe back in, you can see it coming back into your feet, up in your body. And what we're doing now, we're creating an energy sphere with your own breath, your own imagination, and it's fortifying your energy field with like a force field, sucking it back into your feet, making it flow up your legs, and this energy flows through your chakras, out your head, and back around you. We can make it spin one side, flowing around you, turning into your feet, and in this energy field. You can just let it by itself. Once you did that, you know it's set. So you can't, you don't have to think about it really. Just breathe. This energy sphere around you, okay? It contains all of your emanations. So it doesn't let any of your energy out. And it keeps all the energy that is not yours also out. That is you that decides this just by thinking about it. It's easy like that. It's really super easy. So this is one thing that you're going to want to do as much as you, as you can and thinking about it, you know, as much as you can all the time to keep your, um, emanations and toroidal fields around you and keeping you safe and keeping your energy to yourself. In our bodies, we have chakras, which are like energy centers um, that really have each their own 
um, function and reason of um, us needing them <laughs> in our lives. And as humans, we're very, very centered on our three base chakras. So I'm gonna ask you to imagine over your head, okay, like maybe a foot over your head, a spinning iridescent white sphere. And you can see it sparkle, you can see it move. And that is your um, soul star chakra. It's on top of your head all the time. And this is your connection to your other chakras, your other selves, your portal to your highest expression of yourself. You need to connect to this first portal over your head to then uh, access the other ones, okay? So with your intention, imagine this beautiful sphere leaking its beautiful lights down to you and let it merge with your energy here. Let it flow down to you and connect to your crown chakra, opening your head like a flower, like a lotus. Big, big lotus. And this energy is yours. It's your quantum self information. Light is data, it's information, it's all the same. So feel this merging with your head, <clears throat> entering into your head, flowing in the back, on your skin, in the front of your forehead, slowly wrapping you and immersing in you its qualities of divine expression. Feel it enter your third eye. <clears throat> and your third eye is really like your imagination. It's your mind's eye. It's your um, creation before you make it um, happen. So your third eye is now being immersed and flowing with this beautiful, warm feeling of balance and healing. This energy, you can feel it connecting to the back of your spine. Your spine is like the connection of your neurologic systems, your nervous systems, endocrine systems. So as your zero point quantum, all possibilities self is flowing into your systems, you can imagine all these veins, all these um, pathways in your spine, in your body, being lit up by this. Once you can start feeling flowing down your throat, in your throat, and in your jaw, through your skin, into your chest, into your bones, 
in your throat chakra, which is your expression, your <clears throat> way of vibrating into this world. I'm going to start counting you down as I'm talking to you from 10 to 1. And these numbers, they're just to make you sink in and have you know what you're thinking. So 10. You can imagine the numbers like balloons spinning around you and disappearing as we go down. And your energy is making you feel so relaxed at home and like floating in your own tutorial field, merging with all your cells. Nine. All your little particles are spinning and interacting together, exchanging information, flowing around you from your arms to your systems of digestion, digestive systems, so um, through all of the back of your body, it's flowing through your heart. Eight. Your heart is like a generator. It's like the control center of everything. So as your quantum energy is merging through your heart, your heart is spreading this through all of your blood and through all of your energy bodies, your mental bodies, your astral body, and etheric body. All starts from your heart. That's why you feel so much everything. So let it sink in. And feel like you're going to sit down into your heart. Like you're just sinking into this cozy, soft um, energy structure that is yours. It's like jello or marshmallows. You're just feeling so good there in your heart. Seven. And now this energy is going to anchor down into your solar plexus. The solar plexus is our power center, it's our star, the sun. You are all of you as a sun, but the chakra of the belly is really like your lower dentin in Buddhism and Taoism. It's really where you get your creation energy, your manifesting energy, your zero points, feminine cap uh, capacity of creating life starts with your chi, your prana, and it's in your belly. That's your power. So feel your connection to our sun, into the central sun, the galaxy, which is like the Pleiades, 
Alcyone star and to Sirius, the grand central sun. So these connections are like automatic. You can visualize them or not. It just is when you think about these things. So sucking in energy through our sun portals and back to your belly. Breathe that in. Six. And now that you're merging with the cosmos, your higher, highest expression of self, you are now going to connect down your base chakras, going down to your sacral chakra, which is really your safety, your belonging, all your memories of trauma, um, survival. So the energy is flowing through this chakra and firing up your blazing orange fire alchemy alchemy alchemizing and healing through all your songs five connecting to your base chakra you can imagine that you're this huge giant being and you are sitting on this planet on this earth you're bigger than the earth or as big as the earth and you're sitting on the planet because it's your planet it's your connection to it feel how big you are through this connection. Now this energy will flow down your legs and anchor with your soul earth chakra. This is another portal to the grids, to the ley lines of this earth. So connecting to this, you connect to all the information, all the possibilities, all the power. So connecting on both sides of your toroidal field or feeling this as you're also feeling power and zero points floating into your bubble, no gravity, and feeling sinking down into your body. Ooh. It's all at the same time. And you're all of it. We are master creator beings. And we are much more than our physical bodies. So we are the cosmos and we are tiny little particles, atomic, subatomic particles. And yeah. 
So, I want you to tell me how you are feeling. I feel relaxed. Okay. Are you um, having any feelings in your body? A numb sensation in my body. A numb sensation? Yeah. Okay. And do you have any visuals like colors, images, perceptions? Okay, so you're perceiving yourself as energy. Yeah. Okay. How do you see that? I kind of just keep my body quite light. Like your body, but lit. I'm yeah. sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you were continuing. So I didn't. Okay. And do you perceive that you are somewhere? Yes. Okay. Where is that somewhere? In my bedroom. In your bedroom. Can you see yourself like in the third person? Visual or? Um, yeah, I can. And um, <clears throat> you're feeling um, like you could move from this space or like you're just like, okay, how, like your perception of yourself in your room. Is it only that perception that you have, or it's shifting to other perceptions also? I only really that I'm in my room. Okay. All right. If you look like around you, do you see perceived? Uh, feel anything like in your field, let's say, or around your field. I kind of just feel like like a bad energy in my bedroom. A bad energy? Yeah. Okay. And um, what does it make you? Like, what, what does it make you feel like? Like, um, does it make you um, have anxiety? Uh, does it have you feel like someone is watching you? Like, like can you explain a little bit what, what you feel? Yeah, it kind of just, it's just like, by saying my bedroom, it's, it's just reminding me of sickness, kind of where I always am when I'm sick. And it's just like my low vibration, my bedroom. It's just, I don't know, almost just like very negative energy. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's okay. It's very okay. You, you, you're good. You're very good. Um, do you um, feel like if you would want to right now, you could leave your room with your consciousness like with your energy body like could you exit this space or you feel yeah i would be able to okay and if you would leave this space would this uh feeling change um yeah okay
at the moment. Are you feeling okay? Are you feeling? Yeah, I feel okay. okay. Because how it works, okay? Um, the vibration, the energy that you're feeling, it's yours. It's like your money, let's say, okay? And it's really you that um, decides what happens with this energy and how um, others will be able to interact with their energy. When you're not aware of things, it's like um, entities, beings, you know, they can uh, trick you, you know what I mean? But once, um, like right now, you're with me and um we're in your energy field okay so anything anyone even if it would be i don't know whoever you know a, a being exterior from yourself he is under your control okay like you can do what you want so this feeling that you're um uncomfortable with right now i want you to understand that it is your power Okay, and no one can do anything to you in this space. You are holding the power in this space, always. When it's your energy, when it's your reality, it's always, always you that has the power. Like, so I just don't want you to be intimidated or anything. You understand what I'm saying to you? Okay, so let's say your anxiety, you could uh, imagine that that um, frequency is a certain color, okay? Let's say, I don't know, black or gray, and you can take it in your etheric hands, you can use your physical hands also if you want when you're doing it, but you don't have to, and you take it and you can change it into love or just make it disappear like that. It's your energy. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm just taking a sip of water. I um, do see, okay, like um, other uh, beings that are not you that would be uh, interacting with you uh, at the moment. And, um, you know, it's like, for them, it's it's not a big deal, but for us, it is. And they get us to accept these things. They get us to contract with them, you know? And um, I don't feel like they're super malevolent, but they're, they're like more um, not emotional, okay? Did you perceive these beings? I'm not gonna uh, before I, I tell you more. I want I want to know. Did you ever perceive these beings, or when I talk about it, do you see anything? Um, no. No, and you don't feel anything either. Like no images are coming to your head. No. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> just gonna. See how um, I see you energetically. Feeling. Yeah. Okay. I want you to tell me right away if anything you feel anything or you know whatever as I'm I'm. Uh, interacting, I'm going to tell you what I see and what I'm doing also, and it's not going to be really me, it's going to be more you. So, um, right now, <clears throat> I'm seeing, um, like when we started talking about it, I was seeing like around you, um, what seemed like purple energy, okay? And this purple energy was like more and more looking like it was densifying and creating like a um, 
a room or a space. Um, that's why I asked you if you could exit your room, you know, because sometimes they just, with your energy body, they keep you uh, stuck in, in a certain place, but your energy body seems to be like, okay, you're not um, bounded or anything. You're not, um, so you're like, just uh, hang around with me. We're gonna, we're gonna like, um, I'm gonna explain to you what we're seeing. I'm seeing, um, you know, like probably um, monitoring and, um, you know, like they're not hurting you, but they're definitely, um, um, interested in uh, your essence because you are uh, of a different signature, uh, energy signature, like I told you at the beginning. Your uh, essence, you know, you have, I don't like titles that much and, you know, they don't, we don't call ourselves like that in the other realms, but uh, like Pleiadian, uh, angelic energy, you know, like really pure and Syrian also uh, energy. So, um, your energy is really crystalline and white and very, very pure. And it's like um, very intriguing for other lower dimensional beings. So you're much, much more powerful than all of this. So it's just that you were not aware. OK. So um, me, what I'm seeing, uh, you're like next to me. I'm just gonna look at you completely just to see how your mental thing. Yeah, you're like a rainbow, um, rainbow um, sparkles. Really, I'm seeing you in this form, and it's, it doesn't have gender. Like, so I'm, it's really like um, one of your higher, higher aspects. That it's just energy. You know, it's like not even um like you have all these other bodies of course that are in other dimensions but this one is gonna do the work with me well i'm gonna see how you can do it because like your um what i'm being shown through your because it's not it's not like Everything happens always in the same time. There's no time in these dimensions. So we're just like um, seeing uh, a projection that comes from your uh, consciousness, you know? Um, that's what I'm tapping into right now. I'm not, um, we're not, you're not living this right now, okay? okay? So, So you're just like sitting on a chair and it's like a dentist chair a little bit and um the beings they're like really um you know I'm, I'm not feeling that they're malevolent you know they're really like more curious and they want <laughs> they want what you have you know because they don't have it it's like they're scientists and stuff like that it's not you know so um we're just you're just like interfacing with them and explaining to them that you're like not um doing well with their um taking of your energy because your body here needs it you know and um <clears throat> yeah you, um the way it works you know it's like they call it contracts but it's really uh, energy energy ties and our subconscious human subconscious likes to um, show it to us in different ways. So <laughs> right now they're like unrolling a scroll, okay? They're like three beings. They look like gray aliens if you want, but they're like more green and they're, I've never seen ones like that. They're like small and yeah, and they're like showing me and you uh, this scroll, which seems to be pretty long. <laughs> And they're like trying to, uh, you know, convince us, convince us again to to keep working with them. But you're not going to do that. And uh, you're just going to, yeah, okay. So the scrolls are being uh, 
dissipated, uh, melted, if you want, they're just disappearing. And um, yeah, there's this big wormhole that's opening. I've never seen this either. It's just so amazing because with everybody, it's different. And it's like, <laughs> I'm just looking at it. It's really uh, a magnificent uh, experience for everyone. So yeah, there's this big wormhole that has like a curve that um, your um, energy self, we're like out of the craft now and you're pretty, we're big, you know, we're a celestial side right now. We're like, you're in that form and you're just like pointing the uh, wormhole, showing them that they can exit right there, you know? So that's what they're doing. And, okay. Um, as time doesn't exist, you're showing me that, um, um, yeah, it's like, It's like many strands of energy, I would say, I would say, or is it maybe your lives, you know, that would be implicated into these contracts. That's why the scroll was so long. So yeah, it's different streams that come from your monadic salt that was, um, yeah implicated into these um, exchanges, I guess, you know, what you were getting out of it, I don't know, not much, I guess, because you decided to make them go out the portal, so. <laughs> okay, so these uh, energy strands are merging back together, and it's like, it's like, um, different colors and in those uh, different colors, it's like um, there are stars. And I believe that these stars would be like information flowing through the different frequency bands. Yeah, cause it's like different colors. So all this is flowing back into this timeline because these lifetimes that we're having right now in this specific timeline is very, very important for our soul. And as we are, like I said before, working on many, many levels. And yeah. So I'm seeing it flowing down back to you and like your energy sphere all these different bands are connected to all these different bodies which are on different frequencies that we call um, energy body, emotional body, um, mental body, astral and etheric. So it's like a rainbow flowing back into your field and creating um, symbiosis with your physical body right now. Do you feel anything for your head? I feel a little bit lighter. Because I'm feeling it from my head. That's what I was asking. Um, okay. So, um, I'm going to just come back down with you. And bring your cosmic selves. <laughs> I just want to see what you're going to show me now. So, um, do you do you feel um, the same energy still, or you're starting to feel like it's 
difference or not? I feel a lot lighter. Okay, good. <laughs> your energy body is really big and you're like, um, your hand is, it's pulling, uh, like when you want to grab somebody's hand, like you want me to follow you, so I will do that. You can just, you know, breathe and listen to what I'm saying. Okay, so you're showing me Saturn and the frequency really changed. I don't know if you're feeling it also. You don't have to. I'm just going to go and see what you need to show me. Okay. Um, Saturn is um, a planet which rules discipline, uh, control, submission, <laughs> um, you know, those kind of things. And um, <clears throat> I feel that um, you have, I me, mean, it's making me feel like not so good, but it's okay. It's just you just showing me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, you need to tell me, okay, because I don't want you to. Win. Uh, all right, so, yeah, like, not only you were, um, you had a lot of lives here on, on Earth, you had a lot of um, incarnation or experiences in other densities and through like what we call the galactic wars. <clears throat> and um, yeah, you like because you're showing me a lot of things, and I'm just trying to sense it. All right, <laughs> so. You know, I, I told you at the beginning, I was, I was, I was talking to you about Pleiadian of, um, you know, collectives and energies that I was seeing with you. And, um, yeah, <clears throat> you're um, from my very powerful, um, they're not even letting me say it almost like I have problems talking right now. Like not that not that they're not letting me say it, but I'm the energy is really strong. Uh, yeah, from um, many 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 um, galaxies and realities, um, these crystal realms exist, and very, very powerful beings, um, you know, live there from everywhere. And <clears throat> some, uh, we could say, even create our worlds, like, um, and some are good and some have different intentions. Your essence is from a place I've never seen before. I get Orion coming back in the back of my head, but I mean, I'm seeing like, it looks like ice 
pyramids, but it's like, you know, like, um, <clears throat> ice diamonds, um, crystals that would be, um, overlaid one over the other and it's like a pyramid and um here on earth like i said before a lot of us came right now to do specific things good things empowering uh, the other beings and ourselves and everything. But um, there's always like two sides of the coin with these um, energy manifestations. And um, our energy that comes down from our God self, creator being self to these realms, they create pathways in reality. And sometimes our pathways get <clears throat> noticed and we get bypassed, like they're pumping our water or our essence. And it's sometimes pretty intricately um, complicated to even understand. It's, it's much too complicated even for me to even explain what I'm seeing right now, but I can say that I'm seeing links, like let's say lines with dots and then another line with a dot for, for creating a path, okay? And these paths, they split and they multiply and they go many ways. But you, what you're showing me is that your, your river, your pathway is like, you know, you're, you're a big being. So it's, you have, you have a big pathway and you're, you were like, directly linked to Saturn, like, and Saturn is really, like I said, um, it's a celestial that represents control, um, you know, all these things. So it was like bypassing your 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 and your intentions with your energy you know like this big river was supposed to be linked directly to you but you know it's been bypassed does this make sense to you about how i'm explaining it yeah okay because you know, i'm trying myself to you know um make it uh, express it in a way so and saturn <laughs> is uh, a big place for um, a certain vibrational um, frequency where certain beings like to connect because it's like their, their connection, you know? It's like that. So through that, I saw that it was linked to elf beings in Orion and I was wondering you know if that was you but it's like not it's like as strong as you but like opposite you're like like you're it's it's not you at all but it's like your your equivalent of power so let's say we both have restaurants and both our restaurants are good but uh we're watching each other you know because i want i want the clients and you want the clients also so it's like these elf beings <laughs> that's what i was trying to understand because you're like this golden uh you're a golden one you know you're your god spark creator being and they are also in their ways but i mean <laughs> Yeah. 
So, <clears throat> making my head hurt. It's okay. It does that. I'm just saying it's strong. So, okay. Now that we've understood what's going on. You're um, pulling back this energy from this, uh, you know, uh, bi bifurcation uh, that was coming from you and through you, then out of you and back to them. So. Okay, it's like a slingshot. It's slingshotting back to you. It's like really fast. And just like closing all the pathways, links to this um, river, out or highway, call it what you want, you know, tunnel of um, link to you. Yeah. So that's closed. And um, how are you feeling? Um, I, I feel okay. You feel okay? Do you do you feel anything different from before? Um, I I feel a little lighter from before. Um, or yeah. like kind of a little bit of like a sick stomach. Yeah. Okay. That's because um, you know, the energy is flowing back to you strongly. So try and take a deep breath. And know that all this is for your highest and best good. And ground back slowly into your body. Just feel it sink through your head, down your spine. Shoulders. Adjusting your frequency to the most optimal reintegration of these energies. As you don't want this to make you feel like you're on a boat having seasickness. So your higher self, your energy, um, cosmic self, is going to monitor the flow of this um, reintegration back into you. It's not going to be like one shot deal because it's a lot. There was a lot of you that wasn't given to you, like you weren't keeping your, your energy at all. So take deep breaths, hold it. And you can imagine your physical body like little stars, little glitter sinking down into your chair and making you feel balanced and calm grounded down your legs solid into your earth
all this light, all this energy, if you want. It's like, it's, it's what you were intending to bring into this um, expression of yourself right now on this earth. And as we forget coming here, okay? We forgot what you were, how big you were, what, what you knew and others in the fourth density, fourth dimension, astral dimension, the sleep realm, when you sleep. See, this, the dreams are super important. So these beings, they, they, they saw you, you know, they knew. But you <laughs> and me, we knew that we were going to meet each other and it was no big deal because you were going to fix this. We're all together doing these things on so many levels. And right now, we are getting our power back, our information, our abilities to be masters of light because light is photons, it's matter. That's what it means to create worlds, create reality. To be aware that energy, ideas, emotions, they become matter in this realm. Let yourself sink back into your body. All is well. You got yourself right now. You're going to go through this as smoothly as optimally as creation permits it you know this is like your creation i want you to imagine a room where you will create your control room like in a big house or a big um building where you have this room that it's a control room to control all your settings I want you to create a space where you're gonna have these um buttons or um sticks that you put up, I don't know how you call that in English, and you let me like a panel, I guess, um, electrical panel, or just like a place where you're going to be able to visualize consciously your settings. So, when you enter this room, you can see, let's say, a big button that you can turn, and that button is your um, energy, your chi, your um, vital force uh, that's connected to uh, the universe. You know, it's it's endless. You have no limit to that. So I want you to visualize these buttons and. You, you're the one really deciding how you're going to put this, how you're, I'm just giving you examples, so, um, your energy, you're putting this button to the max. Then, 
next to it, you have your capacity of regeneration, your stem cells that you want. So you're going to take this button and you are going to turn it to its maximum optimal divine expression capacity. Then you're going to move to the next one. And you can have your vitality, your um, desire of acting, of doing. Remember, this is connected to your solar plexus chakra, your sun. So you can see that one as a sun. You know, you can see that one as when you turn it, it just ignites you like a fire when you blow on it, how it sparks all of you like your lightning. You, know, you do this like you want. So it uh, creates emotion in you, it creates like a feeling. And that's the triggers for your subconscious to give you the dopamine, these little things that are going to change your life on the day-to-day -day basis because you are much more than your physical body but you are also your physical body and you can see that you're everything all of it and it's by interacting with your other selves as imagining uh, imagining them imagining the room imagining your cosmic self that's super huge you know like making sure that all your bodies are sucking in your rainbow your rainbow your liquid honey that comes back all the way to source to the creator of this um reality it's, it's con universal consciousness you know it's we're all from there so it's yours. You can also, um, in days that are different, change your settings, change your buttons. All this is malleable. And you are the one that is deciding. And you have to do these things repetitively to anchor these realities into your physical body. Okay. So, how are you feeling now? I can hear you. How are you feeling now? Oh. <laughs> you seem to be good, though. I was looking at you. You seem like you were flying. <laughs> are you feeling good? Yeah, I feel okay. I yeah? I'm cranking that regeneration button. Okay, okay. Close back your eyes, then. I want you to tell me what you're seeing there in that room. I put it in my bedroom, so where I am now, I just, yeah. like, I just see like a metal box with these buttons that I can just crank all the way up. Great, amazing. And when you do that, do you feel like excited that you can do that? Like it's creating magic and it's a new um, set of tools in your life? Yeah, it's, it's nice to have. I'm like realizing my body regenerating and feeling good. And if I have a bad day, I just can go up there. And yeah. Up. Yeah. You remember you talked to me about the med beds, right? Yeah. Med beds are exactly a bit, you know, like like you you want it to be like in the, this room. So you can create your med bed with this. Um, linked to this um, control room. 
So let's say, like you said, you don't, you want a specific something. Well, you go to your control room with your mind, you know, you lay in your bed and, and you do your settings and you come back to your body and you can have it like your bed transform into this multi-faceted uh, crystal, you know, that's uh, blowing through you all this light and connecting to all of your cells and immersing yourself into this uh, quantum healing because it's that, you know, it's really um, you doing this that's going to allow you to change your reality. And as we're all doing this, we're bringing this into this physical reality for all the others too, you know, like we're all creating this. And the med beds, they're, the, they're going to come for the other ones, but you, you might not really need that because as I, as I tell, as I'm telling you now, and we're interacting together, um, we're sharing our reality right now. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's just like that. So, you're really the one, like Neo. <laughs> you're the one. We're all the ones in our own realities and we're creating it together. And unprecedented things are coming, you know? <laughs> it's gonna be amazing. And you are amazing. How I'm seeing it, it's like your your bed and over you, it's like you, you created like this uh, grid with um, uh, like the links I told you, like the links, another um, uh, sphere and a link and a sphere. And it's like really multidimensional. It's like a disco ball if you want, but it's it's like energy and it's like multicolored and it's all over your bed. It's like this. Uh, um, sacred geometry, you know, if you want to have images in your head, you can look at sacred geometry to give you, give your subconscious, you know, um, potency to create these uh, grids around you, these healing med beds, quantum, <laughs> crystalline technology, light technology, it's that, yeah. you know, so, I'm having like crazy tingles and chills and everything. So <clears throat> it's really nice. It's really good. Very good frequency. And it's you, you know, it's, it's, and you're going to integrate it slowly, but surely. And your body is biotechnology, it's so advanced. It's like, you know, there's nothing like this body. And once you are able to accept that, you know, that you are that, then everything's going to change. When you breathe, the air, it's also prana, you know, so it's very important to when you do these things to breathe it into your body. Because it's like energy with your mind and with your physical organs, you're breathing in through the air, through the molecules, these frequencies into you. So it's like merging so many different, um, it's like merging the ice with the water and the vapor and it's all existing together. So it's, it's like we need to bring it into our reality, which is ice, you know. So it's not just on one level that you can do this, but it's, it's not really like you have to think about all these things. I'm just telling you. So, um, 
I'm going to count to three. And um, at three, I want you to start, um, you know, opening your eyes and moving your body a little bit. And we're going to um, talk a little bit after and see where So one, you can imagine the whole cosmos, the whole universe, multiverse, flipping back into itself, into coming into smaller and smaller, into back into you, into our solar system, back into our atmosphere. And to you, two, and all of your awareness, consciousness is now feeling more your body. You can touch your body, move your hands, take a breath, and one, open your eyes. <sighs> hey. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Did you like it? Yeah, it's like a little bit spacey, right? <laughs> I'm in my room and... Yeah, it's okay. You're going to just take it easy. You know, and, and actually, my, um, you know, just take it easy and your awareness is like, it's different. You know, when we're out and then you're like seeing through all your physical eyes again and it's like whoa <laughs> but it's so amazing how right now you're like um observing this uh difference you know of your conscious awareness and how you know it's it's not only like what you're going through every day that exists in reality, you know? Right, yeah. There's much more. And when we're into it, it's like, it's like we're like this, you know, we're, we're in the, this shell and we don't see anything else than that. And our minds keep telling us and reminding us of the same things, you know? So it's really, really, really hard to be able to expand and see all the other possibilities and see uh, tools that you actually have access to and see, you know, what's going on with your other uh, emanation selves. And, you know, it's like much more than just this, but how <coughs> everything is right now like I said, we're changing. So the controllers of this reality, okay, they don't want this to happen. So, so much things are being thrown at us to keep us right there with the shell over our heads and not seeing any of it and thinking that it's um, that and that's it. And, you know, the moment that you decide that it's not that and you're, um, willing to uh accept that you're much more than this and all that we you know saw and everything that's why we're recording and you're gonna have to want if you want to of course you don't have to do anything but i suggest strongly that you re-listen to it you know maybe not the beginning beginning but if you're feeling good with it you can yeah redo it with your mind and relive it and really um make it really more real in your reality you know because um yeah, you know, and and by doing that, it's gonna it's gonna condition you, you know, to um, create it. And at a certain point, you're not gonna be uh, needing to listen to it anymore. You're just gonna do it by yourself. It's gonna be aut automatic. You know, you're gonna get up in the morning, and um, you know, my suggestions are always try and remember your dreams. You know, if you can write them, because in the astrals. A lot is going on. <laughs> like we have a life there too, 
you know it's yeah. like yeah and the more you try and remember your dreams the more you write down but the more you connect and you understand why things are happening and what you're doing and who you're interacting with and blah 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 you know so that would be something that I would strongly suggest if you do. But don't do everything at the same time, okay? Like, start with one thing that you feel like doing, you know, that, that makes you, like, with everything that I told you, you know? Like, one thing, like, let's say, uh, I'm not good with scheduling, and these things are really not something that I'm attracted to, so I don't feel super comfortable to tell people to schedule things and do it like that. But you know, you know yourself much more than I do. So if you think that you should tell yourself, okay, like maybe for the first week, I'm going to force myself to do this every morning, let's say, for one week. It's not such a big deal. You know, you put yourself little or one day, two days or whatever, what, whatever feels good for you. And after that, you just talk to yourself and set another agreement with yourself, okay? But do it easy easy and that you want to do so you get the the dopamine and they the the um what's the freaking word when you give something to someone like not the gift but the the reason why you're doing it you're like you're the prize or you know like you know what i mean yeah so little things that um and you can change like if one day you told yourself that oh, i i was supposed to do that you don't feel like it really well don't you know and just try and see if there's something else that you could do you need to be really really super permissive with yourself and no uh negative talk you know what you need to tell yourself when you're rolling like that you're, you need to be like listen i know this it's okay i know it you don't have to you talk to yourself like you're another person because you have many selves and Often we're not in agreement with all of ourselves. So we're like fighting them and trying to shut them up, you know? And it's not like that. You're going to have to tell the one that's always reminding you the same thing. You're going to have to tell her, listen, it's okay. I know this. I thank you for telling me this. I love you. You're okay. You're, you, you're doing your job. <laughs> yeah. We know. We know. And as long as you're going to interact in that way and try and tell it, like, it's good. Thank you you know, and, and tell it, we know this already, you know, and it's going to stop because I, I had a lot of mind chatter and that's really not good for us wanting to do stuff and doing the things in a good way. And, you know, it's a lot of things I know, you know, and I'm not just going to drop you like that. We're going to, we're going to talk again. You know, I'm going to help you with all of it, but I mean, it's little, little things that you start adding to your life and the ways that you do them that's really going to change it. Like, let's say I tell myself that everything is like super important and, uh, and needs my uh, ritualistic attention. Like, like, let's say I'm washing my hair. Well, I'm going to wash my hair like I'm not all the time. I mean, but when I'm feeling good enough to do that i'm gonna do it like if i was doing it to a queen you know and it would be super special you know like it's a special thing and i'm treating myself with that and it's it's in it's good you know and it's i'm not just doing it because i have to and whatever tomorrow and blah 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 and just like every moment because you're gonna run off your tail anyways you know it's like not important and we're we're Time, it's like just a measure to measure for, for us to to be able to navigate. It's not real, you know what I mean? So we, it's these things that make us so stressed and feeling like we're not okay. And we're supposed to be doing that. And I'm supposed to, why am I not the the da 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 you know? Says who? Says who? You know what I mean? So... It, first thing really is to be super good to you and super like a kid where you don't already know that these things whatever things that you're doing are not supposed to be real or whatever because everything is real and not real what's real it's <sighs> concepts it's you know everything changes all the time so there's it's unprecedented right now so you have like 
you decide right now, really, what you want to create with your um, capacity to understand, you know, what you are, really, you know, like, <laughs> if all these beings want to suck up to our energy, there's a reason, you know, it's like, they don't have it, we have it, we, we, the humans, you know, they're the, let's say people call them archons or, um, you know, whatever, they're not the creators of this universe, we are, but they put us to a point where we accepted, okay, like, listen, um, when it was uh, the Romans, okay, the Romans and uh, the Roman Empire is the one that really set our way of living, you know, give them games and bread, you know, and that's what we're doing right now, that's what they're still doing, giving us entertainment, giving us uh, all these politics, these things to get our attention and to get us intricately fighting with each other, it's whatever uh, is the show, you know, and the, the bread, I mean, they give us, you know, <sighs> crumbs, you know, and make us work and give them back our energy that it's like, it's ridiculous. All this is ridiculous. It's not okay. And it's, it's, it's changing. So a lot of us came for this and we brought more of ourselves to be able to change this, but it's super not aligned with how things work here. So we're like, <laughs> what the hell, you know? All my life, all my life, I was like, what are these people doing? Where am I? What the hell? I wasn't understanding. I didn't, and it wasn't words. Like it was just a feeling of unease that I did not know what I was experiencing because I was not telling myself like, what are these people doing? Because I was supposed to already know as a human, I was uh conditioned to think that this was normal so it was just like a, a, a feeling that i had i did not know what that feeling was but it wasn't a good one you know and once all this started unfolding then then i could identify why i'm feeling like that and what's going on and why i'm different and it's a good thing you know and the mainstream science um is trying to understand themselves you know it's like, it's agreements between scientists that agreed that this is that. Like, okay, we agree. Okay, we'll say it's that right in the book and tell everybody else it's that. But I mean, that's, that's, it's, it's not, it's not accurate. It's not, it's much more than that. And we're not, I'm not saying I, I understand more than anybody else, but we're learning much more right now with our consciousness expanding and our, other tools, you know. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm I'm just gonna stop the recording. Okay. Um